it's zero again my new video today is going to be called um, man of God the reason why I want to make this is because a lot of people get stuck after they have come to the conclusion that the earth is definitely flat after you've poured over the evidence and it's really not so much that we know the earth is is flat we know there's absolutely no proof at all that we're on a spinning ball flying through space at ungodly speeds in many different directions and there's just not one shred of evidence to prove this not nothing nowhere you look the only proof you can find that is substantial is that we are on a flat plane and what exactly it is I don't know and I don't know if we'll ever be able to figure that one out but we can get closer to figuring out our existence and what it is that we actually live in but the first step we have to take is we need to remove the people that are in power over us and this is very important because these people they are not men of God they are gods of man and we worship them and the Bible says that we are breaking the law when we follow these laws and that's pretty much what the Bible is the Bible is a law book but a lot of people don't understand this and the law of man today is been made by men but we are not gods and we cannot make the law so we break the law by following our government and this is what really the Bible is all about so don't go throwing Bible verses at me like spears okay because I know what the Bible is and what it's about and it's not about anything you've ever heard in a church or any religious organizations for these things are to um, deceive you and they're to trap you and trap you they do they trap your mind they trap you and they basically kill you because once you start worshiping something other than the real God worship another God and you are dead in, in God's eye you are dead and he can no longer hear you but there's really not a lot we can do to get out of this system alone because the government is very entrenched and they have a lot of power and they have a lot of power over us as individuals so we need to stick together and we need to start pointing out these wrongs as they come about wrongs like fake stuff they put on TV like uh, fake space station footage it needs to be laughed at it needs to be ridiculed it needs to be exposed for what it is lies and our law also needs to be exposed it needs to be exposed for lies if we had real law in this land the people that blew up the building the 9-11 wouldn't be walking free today but they are these are the same people that are making your laws these are the people that are controlling your lives these are the people that are calling themselves God of men and they also call you dead because you are dead to them just like you're dead to God God will not hear you God will not hear you unless you are reborn in his name through Jesus Christ and that was the one way he gave us out of this but where do we go who do we trust there isn't anywhere to go there is no one to trust not in this system 
there's only one place we can go, and that's to each other. Okay? We must, in a sense, baptize ourselves all over again in the name of righteousness and the true God. And that's all we can do. I have to tell you, if I was God and I saw all this stuff going on, and how men have been fooled and how they blindly follow this madness created by these maniacs that are out there, I, I, I would be screaming mad over this. And, but I'm not God and I don't know how he's going to handle this, but one thing I am pretty sure of, I believe he put flat earth into the conscience of man again so that we could begin to see some of these truths and we could get off this crazy train, this ride to hell. I call it the road to revelation. Okay, this is not the path for man. Okay, this is the end game. This is where we're on a, a train ride to hell. And Flat Earth is the last stop for reality. And we need to get off now. And we need to start seeing things for what it is. And we need to open the Bible and read it with new eyes. And see it for what it is. For it is the law of men. It is our law. It is from God and we are supposed to follow it and we must realize that once when we do follow this law of the government we are breaking his law and it says that in it? it says that you can find it if you read the Bible with new eyes it's, that's all there is to it we are caught up in a web of lies it's all lies lies everywhere see through it. Turn off your TV and literally never turn it back on. Don't pay your cable bills anymore because it is worthless. That is worthless information and you don't need that crap in your house. It's really ironic how things work. The devil has religious people believing in the wrong God. The devil has his followers believing that he's the good God and he's got atheists believing that neither God nor him even exist. It's really quite funny. But that's how it works. It's so twisted and inverted and satanic. So I say to you now, we are not gods of man. We are men of God. That's all I have to say. Thank you for listening.